My thanks to the folks at Playway for the key we're using to play today with a little ship graveyard simulator. I've been playing a bunch of these simulation games lately, and honestly, I generally find them to be, um, you know, pretty enjoyable. So I thought, let's give this one a world since this one is basically brand new. I just like the sound of breaking down ships. That sounds pretty fun. So here we are. Um, I don't know where we are, but here we are. We can explore, we can scrap, and we can collect. So basically check abandoned ships, find materials on them, break them down, drive your car there to travel faster. I like the idea of driving a car. Dismantle whatever you can, simple barrels or pipes, as well as massive engines to find and scrap. That sounds fun. It's funny, I was reading too, and uh, one of the devs said that on the large, the really large ships, you can even break down the sides of them, which I presume maybe means you can get to more stuff. I don't know, that's kind of a guess. There's a big variety of materials from common steel and copper to very precious silver and gold. Choose wisely because you have limited inventory space. Controls, not going to worry too much about them. Flashlight F, pull materials, use tools, skill tree. Okay, all that looks pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and roll. Look at that. I can properly invert my mouse. There was a game I was going to play and I couldn't invert my mouse and I did not play it because, nope. So we can sell stuff here at the marketplace sell the materials that we've collected and harvested off of the ship. Material prices will change every day depending on what you are trading with. I assume when it says trading with, it doesn't mean like seashells and that sort of things. So it looks like right now, you know, here are all your prices. Okay. A whole host of different things. Steel, stainless steel, unalloyed steel, rusted steel. So lots of uh, variety there in terms of materials. We've got the tool shop over here can buy new tools and upgrade them. I like the sound of that. I imagine that's going to be fairly important as you go through the game. You can convince tradesmen to order new stuff for you to buy in his tool shop. Of course, not for free. So we can buy a hacksaw. We don't have any money. I assume maybe we already have one. And a lockpick. Look at that. That <laughs> The lockpick is literally a screwdriver and a piece of metal that's bent for 270 bucks. Wow. Um, okay. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so it looks like uh, we didn't book any ship. Task, find and destroy metal scraps. So it looks like there's something over there, but I see a truck over here, which um, has a trunk, and it doesn't look like there's any sort of fuel, although, I mean, there appears to be fuel. So let's see if we can hop in. I'm in. All right, we're going to go over here. I appreciate that it's a first-person view on uh, the truck here and that it's not third person. That's interesting. Hammer. Dismantle. <laughs> Happy destroying. That might be one of my favorite things I've ever read in the game. That's hilarious. Well played. Critical points. If you hit correctly, you can speed up your destruction process. Aim at the glowing sparks to deal more damage. Get more experience and hammer mastery by spending points in your skill tree. Hello, sir. You are a worker. Um, I don't know that I can hire you when I have no money with which to hire you. Build a barrack first to hire a worker. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume that maybe I need to have money to build a barracks. Um, okay. Let's go back over here. Maybe I shouldn't have left the home yet. I just saw a dude over there and thought, cool, let's grab the truck and drive to him. Because that sounded like a fun thing to do. Door. Wow, that is a big door. Something about this view feels slightly off, like the camera needs to be slightly higher. Computer. Available ships. Small. A dollar a day. Pick one of the available ships and place an order. The ship will arrive at 8 a.m. You can only order one ship. Okay. So predicted materials, look at this. There's all the various types of steel, so no stainless, which of course was the most expensive stainless. Presumably titanium, chemicals, gold scrap, chromium, those are going to be your most expensive things. I love this. This is a very, very convincing look right here. I mean, it, it basically looks just like Chrome or Edge or Firefox or something. So we'll go ahead and book one. We don't have enough money to book one. I don't understand. Okay. So I guess I just need to find and destroy some metal. Um, can I... Let's see. I've got a hammer here. There's my hammer. Um, just out of curiosity. You cannot hammer the chickens. The chickens are indeed metal. 
So they are indestructible. Indestructible chickens. Good to know. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's go over this way where there's a bunch of metal and stuff. And maybe uh, we can break down something over here for a dollar. I don't know. I'm I'm so confused. Aha, uh -huh, hi. What are you? Cast iron. Okay, so it looks like what I can do is I can just run over here and collect some stuff. And then I can go sell this crap just straight up. How much inventory do I have? Okay, fair amount, really. I mean, I was expecting that I would have very little the way the game was kind of saying it. Like, yeah, limited inventory and stuff. No, it seems okay. I can work with that. Here, we'll grab a little more. And then maybe I want to hammer something just to see if, if it does anything. Pick up the Earl. All right, cast iron. Go for it. Oh, look at that. So we can bash on this metal stand. Oh, hold on. Bash the shiny points for more damage. Um, okay, there's another shiny point. And I don't see any more shiny. So, oh no, there's one. There we go, excellent, look at that. So that turns into a bunch of materials just like that. And now we can go run over to our sales type person. I don't have many money for you, so sorry. Okay, as far as I can tell, we can sprint indefinitely, so I'm happy about that. I will always approve that as a game choice. Marketplace. So presumably I can just sell things here. So we can right click to sell, right click to sell and sell for 157 bucks. Excellent. Okay. So now we need to build a barrack. How do we build a barrack? I also need to book. Here we go. We're going to book. Booking complete. We'll find it on the beach. Uh, next booking payment will take place at eight. Okay. I mean, it only cost a buck to get that. So apparently I now have to wait an entire day before that will arrive. Guessing you guys are just... Oh, hi, dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Let me pet the doggy with the hammer. Who's a good boy? Okay. Um, that was apparently not the right thing to do. My apologies. So 65 bucks a day. Oh, you have... Okay, so it looks like maybe these guys do different things because petroleum and rusted steel are the things you go for. And I didn't pay attention. I honestly, I didn't pay attention to that first guy and what he does. So I'm going to guess at various points around this place, we will find different workers who are all skilled in various things. There's also a good boy over here. It's a very good boy over there like that. And I'm just zipping through here. Okay. Yep. Time keeps on ticking. I can see that we're losing precious time. Okay. So I guess we're supposed to just go destroy more scrap. So I can do that. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the car here. The automobile. And we'll maybe head a little further inland over here. Or uh, not inland. Uh, outland. Got it. Perfect. That came off great. Excellent. Well played. Um, how about right over here? This looks pretty cool. I can't see anything because... Whoa, there we go. Perfect. All right, there's some free oil or something lying around. If the car is stuck, press R to reset its position. Okay, that's handy. I like cars that magically reset themselves. That's nice. Okay, and it looks like we're going to be able to bash on some things here. So some rusted steel, bash and bash, and then a couple of those. Okay, good stuff. Bash away. Clunk. I got to say, that clunk bashing sound is fairly satisfying. Pretty nice. It has some base to it. It, it feels uh, it feels kind of heavy, which it should. It should feel heavy. I don't know how a sound feels heavy. It's the same way a sound feels warm or that sort of thing. If you're a musician, you get it, I guess. I don't know. And if you're not, um, sorry. I don't really know how to explain that right. Rusted pole. Let's see. Let's go ahead and bash you up there. I'm sure there's another weak spot on this. There it is. Just looking at how much health it had. I figure there had to be a little more other weak spot or two. So this will get us some copper, interestingly enough. That's our first foray into copper. I'm going to guess if we just kind of wander over here that maybe we can jump on this ship. Uh, maybe. There we go. And we can start bashing things here. Okay. So this is all the same stuff we've already bashed, of course. So not terribly exciting in that regard. Here, let's just bash this one and then that one. Hey. And then that one, and then that one, and this one. I'm looking forward to using more than a sledgehammer, although 
Sledge is fairly satisfying, I must admit. Okay. Sledgy, sledgy. Alrighty. So, a bunch of steel. Apparently, we make money in a hurry. Um, I am now forever stuck on this ship. Okay. It was good knowing you, everyone. Bye. Where are you? Weak spot. There you are. I feel like I'm playing back for blood. I'm targeting the weak spots now. Bong. Okay. New level. Okay, we should probably take a look at that in a second, huh? That'd be my guess. Oh. That's what I get for trying to be all clever and duck while I'm swinging. Don't want to do any team damage and back for blood, of course. I'm going to duck. Okay. Just bash this one down. Fine, call it good. I want to go see if maybe we can upgrade some tools and stuff. I want to see what that looks like. I mean, we're already making a pretty decent chunk of change here. I mean, really very little work. I mean, if this is all it took to make uh, 157 bucks, I could swing a sledgehammer and do that. I mean, because in a couple hours of work here, we're going to end up with uh, a fairly significant amount of money, I think. At least I suspect it is. I don't know. Maybe it's really not. I don't know how money works in this game, how far it goes. I guess when you have a lockpick for 270 bucks, this probably isn't all that much money. I was trying to hit that weak spot from this side since I couldn't seem to get it with uh, whatever this is, this frame in the way. Here, one more. And then we'll be, we'll go back and see what sort of upgrades and things we can do. Bong. I'm telling you, the sounds are very heavy feeling. It's very nice um, selection of base and all of that. All right, uh, where's the truck? You're over here. We've literally kind of gone back to the village or whatever it is over here. So it's three o'clock, almost four o'clock. Clock moves very quickly in this game. I appreciate that. Means I can get through a couple of days in fairly short order. That's good stuff. All right. Um, I guess the rear view mirror is functional. It really isn't. That is a useless rear view mirror if I've ever seen one in a video game. Okay, good to know. That is terrible. That rear view mirror needs help. Okay. Let's go ahead and park right here. Park by the house. And then let's go see if uh, Tradesman over here is open. So I'm going to sell you all the... I don't know if I'm going to sell you all the things now that I say that. Here, I'll sell you all those and all those. 274 bucks. And let's go talk to this guy. And we can buy a hacksaw now. So let's go ahead and buy a hacksaw. Cut beams and pipes, but watch out for the very sharp blade. Cutting objects will lower the efficiency of your saw and reduce damage. Remember to buy a new blade at the hardware shop whenever necessary. Get more experience in cutting by investing points in your skill tree. Okay. So blade is going to be uh, 25 bucks to buy a new blade. It's good to know. Uh, we can buy a lockpick. So we're going to go ahead and buy a lockpick. Use lockpick to, <laughs> to open closed chests and doors. Different chests have different lock difficulty levels. If you ever, if you ever find short of lock picks, if you ever find yourself short of lock picks, buy more in the tool shop. Grammar, people. Grammar. Cat, what are you doing? Oh, I was going to turn on the camera. I mean, I actually got around to setting it up, but I guess I won't today. Uh, shop upgrade. So we can upgrade for 650 bucks. That gets us a tool shop, which gives us access to new tools and stuff. Uh, that also does require some materials, so that's interesting. That's good to know. And then it looks like have tier 2, tier 3, and you're going to need higher quality materials, more of them, etc. Can I just buy it? Okay. I didn't think so, but I thought, eh, hey, you never know. Give it a whirl. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell all the things here. We're going to sell all of them. And then at some point, I will figure out how to make a barracks. I'm not quite sure how or when. Right here. Barrack. 800 bucks, we need copper, cast iron, and kerosene. That gives us the ability to employ workers. Okay. How you doing? Uh, oil rusted and st rusted steel. Okay. So, basically, we need more money, is what I'm hearing. So we got a hacksaw, we got a sledgehammer, and how do I get to lockpicks? Maybe you're under utilities? Lockpicks. I don't know which key you are then. You're not a number, apparently. Yep, you're not a number. Oh, I can do Q, and that'll give me those. Okay. But I cannot seem to switch to that. 
How does that work? Hmm. Maybe I don't... Maybe I didn't actually buy lockpicks? Alright, well, we have skills here that we can upgrade. 10% hammer damage, 5% hammer speed, saw damage, max sharpness. I'm kind of inclined to maybe um, not spend any of those yet, because I don't really know what matters. I mean, my, my inclination, too, is to put it into something that's going to cost more, so saw sharpness, that sort of thing, I don't know, whatever. Can we just keep doing this indefinitely? Do we need to sleep? Does it matter? I don't really know. Inquiring minds want to know. Let's go out this way. This way. So it doesn't look like we can get to any of these wrecks that are in the actually in the water. Just out of curiosity here. Is this something that I can break down at all? Okay, I didn't think so, but I thought I'd take a look. All right, hop in the truck. Hop in the truck. Pretty close to level three, so that's cool. I guess we're just supposed to keep hammering away and bashing away on things that are over here. And then in the morning, now that we have money, we'll be able to, you know, break apart a ship and be able to do more than just bash at random metal stands that are lying around. Because, you know, I want, want to get to something a little more interesting than this. It's fine. It's a good place to start. No complaints there, but I would like to try something new as well. So we'll just pick up some free metal and stuff that's just lying around. That's great. Oh, that might be kerosene over there, so we should definitely go check that out. Okay. If we're going to be using the hammer a bunch, then I really might want to start upgrading that guy. Okay, so what are you? No, your oil. I was getting hopeful that it looked different. I guess it's just because of the the lighting or something. Cannot enter from this side. Okay, good to know. Oh, wood box. Okay, so you automatically wield the lockpicks when you do this. And it looks like, if I had to guess, we're going to use the Elder Scrolls style of lockpicking. So, yes, indeed we are means we gotta go this way yep so this one's gonna be more right here oh no you're wow this is a very very wide window we got some straight up steel and alcohol in the box that seems like a very weird combination but i'm not going to question that too much i'm gonna guess that you have x number of lock picks and if you break them you're just out for that one and the next time you go to another container you will magically have more lock picks that's my guess which would explain why it's 270 bucks for lockpicks, because they're magical and they um, restock themselves, which, you know, they don't do that in the Elder Scrolls or in Fallout or in etc. So I guess all things being equal, that's not too shabby. At some point, do we need to sleep here? Just kind of curious. I mean, seems like maybe we should sleep at some point. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, realistically, it looks like you can just kind of wander around and collect tons of crap here and, and make a pretty decent starting profit just doing this. I'm going to guess that after about a day or so of like a proper ship that we might be able to afford that barracks. I think that's when the game is going to open up is when you can have employees and you can hire uh, workers for the day since I'm guessing that's what they are. They're, they're day laborers. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Maybe they're just straight up employees, period. Either way, I think once we're able to, to hire some folks that can help out, that's going to make this go a little more interestingly. Okay, it's getting pretty dark here. I don't know, do I have a flashlight? I sure do, I remember that. It was the F key. I remember have, having a flashlight. Uh, I think we're about full on inventory, so I'll just kind of collect a few more things here that I saw we could get more copper. Yeah, oil we are done, so... And cast iron, we are done. I don't even know where the truck is. Oh, it's way over there. Half inclined to just leave it. Like, eh, who cares? Doesn't really matter. Takes so long to get in and out of it. Like, meh, whatever. It's fine, though. Here, we'll drive it over. I mean, if nothing else, yes, I could just, you know, fill up the truck. And that would be smart. But I'm really curious to see if there's, like, an end-of-the-day sort of thing. So, 
And look at that, you can turn the headlights on and off, that's good to know. So we'll head back to the base, or the homestead, or the ramshackle lodging that we're staying in, whatever it is, and see if we can figure out if there's anything else we need or can do over here. I'm fine with that. Oh, I don't even know what I hit, but obviously it was the shack. I mean, obviously. Let's go ahead and store the steel in the truck, because that's going to be something that we want down the road here, I, I assume. And I think we needed copper for something as well. That might have been the workshop. Let me see what other parts we need here. So we're going to need some copper, cast iron, and kerosene. So we, I don't think we have any cast iron. I think we just have, like, crap iron. Cast iron. Excellent. So we'll save that cast iron, and we'll save that cast iron, and then all the copper and stuff. And it'll be fine. I'm going to assume that the battery doesn't die. And then there's a bed right there. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we... Uh, well, actually, you know what? Before we do that... Here, let's do this. Let's go ahead and sell all these things here. Let's see what the alcohol sells for individually. 50 bucks for alcohol. Holy cow. They are really hard up for alcohol here. Okay, I don't want to be interrupted while I sleep, so... You're going to sleep. You'll wake at 8 a.m. the next day. All items left on the ground will disappear. New items will appear on the beach. Well, that's handy. Items on ships will stay untouched. Okay. Good to know. Hey, look at that. The ship is coming in. And it beached itself. That's curious. Okay. Um, that was odd. So I just want to take a moment here to kind of look at some of these other things so we can upgrade the market as well, it looks like. 5% prices. Car slots. Does that mean we can have more than one vehicle? That's interesting. And then over here on progress, level one ship. So looks like we're going to get a recipe for that. Level five, that'll give us new things. Small a dollar a day, small a hundred dollars a day. That must be less small. Cast steel, kerosene. Oh, wow. So we don't get kerosene for quite a while. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, we're not that far from, from a level as is. So you, sir, you have an exclamation point. You have new prices for everything. So we could just straight up buy some kerosene, I assume. Oil. Petroleum. Chemicals. Nope. I guess we do need to... Oh, no. There it is. Can I... I cannot buy that. Can I buy any of these things? It doesn't look like it. I am left-clicking and right-clicking and spacing and E and... Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. So our ship came in. Um, it's over there. So let's hop in and see what we can do. We... Of course, uh, can't hire a worker right now, which is incredibly sad for me. Find and destroy metal scrap. Collect materials. Sell materials in market. Well, technically, we were doing all that yesterday, but now we have a ship we can break down. And we might be able to break down some new things here, I'm hoping. I hope, I hope. Because otherwise, um, you know, this is just same thing over and over if that's the case okay break down some oil let's see uh, we can break down a box what are we going to get for that wood it just broke the box that's all that did well that wasn't useful so there's rusted steel okay so we're getting rusted steel for the the barrels here that's probably a good thing because i think that was selling for more than other stuff, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I guess we've been getting rusted steel, but just thinking compared to like, I guess, iron or something. The buoy holder. We could get some rusted steel for that. Steel post here. I'll go ahead and break this guy down. Why not? Uh, there you go. I almost would like those little bright, shiny points to be a little... I don't know. Have a different color to them or something, maybe. Okay, we've busted down a bunch of metal stands. We can get a rope holder here. That's going to give us some cast iron. We need that for the, the homestead, the barrack. Um, I'm going to guess maybe I can't hit that spot. Okay, that's cool. There we go. I got that one, though. 
So I definitely want some cast iron here. And then we're going to break this other one down because that's going to give us the last cast iron that we need. And it's just going to be a matter of copper and money, I believe. And kerosene, which uh, is going to be a matter of being level 5 to be able to do that. Water tanks, huh? Can we... Cannot saw a water tank. Okay. Steel box, cast iron, and copper. We do need some copper. I was just saying we need copper, so we're gonna bash the crap out of this and get ourselves some copper. Okay. Excellent. Um, copper. Gappa. Gappa. Oh, more copper. Yes, please. Because I think this will be the last... No, we might need one more copper. I forget if we had four or five. Uh, I don't see another weak spot on this guy, so... Bash the crap out of it! Excellent. Grab all the coppers. How are we doing on inventory? Pretty decent so far. Rusted steel and cast iron. Okay, sure. We'll go ahead and break this guy down. This is exciting. This is a dual steel post. They have not bashed one of these yet, so... All about bashing new things. This is good time. I really do think maybe it would be a good idea to upgrade the hammer. I mean, the way this is going. Let's get in here, because it looks like we got some pipes we can cut. Oh, come on. I want to cut the pipe. That's bogus. All right, so an intermediate box. So we've got four lockpicks on this. Okay, nice and easy. Lead. I'm going to turn off my flashlight. That's very bright. Rusted seal. Ooh, a long box. Okay. Some aluminium and some alcohols. Okay, so let's go back to the truck and drop off some things here because we need more stuff. All right, uh, just everything goes in there. Excellent. Thank you for that. Very handy button there. I do approve of that button. It's excellent. It's a good button. Alcohol, I mean, that's 50 bucks, so I'm not going to argue with that. Some rusted steel. What all, what all is in there? Some oil. I guess we really need to bash some more things here so we can get some more experience because we really need to hit level 5 so we can build that barracks. That is just going to be uh, something that I need in my life. I, I can just, I can already tell you here. I don't know if we're going to bash the whole ship here. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's, uh, skills, uh, tools, hammer. 10% hammer damage, 5% speed. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but if we do that a couple of times, I assume that'll save a couple of swings, which will make my life immeasurably better. Hey, bash, 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 bash. Oh, that was so close to being done right there. So another upgrade and that would save a swing on this guy. It'd be great. Okay, bash, bash. Although I suppose if my aim were better, that might be all it takes too. Bash, and one more should do it. Maybe? Hey. Nope. Still need just that one sliver, and we're good. So we definitely have enough copper at this point to do things. Um, pallet. I guess we're just bashing crap until we're done here, and then we'll see what we can do when we're done. I mean, as best as I can tell, that's kind of the plan. Okay. Kind of curious, too, if you can respec your skills at any point. I guess it makes sense to have some skill in some things, but you might not want to spec in hammering, for instance, and be like, eh, you know what? I'm going to stick with something else. So we cannot carry any more rusted steel. Let's see if we can... Can we uh, combine any of those things just yet? There we go. Combined a few of those so we can carry some more. That's excellent news. Eh, grab that oil. All right, uh, hammer away. Nope, hammer. It's a good thing the hammer doesn't need to be replaced, because, you know... And we'd be buying hammers all the time. I guess maybe this is the last thing we'll do here. I don't know. I, I think there are some more things. A little uh, back on the other end of the ship there. The prow, the bow, the stern, starboard, etc. I don't know. It's been too long since I played Sea of Thieves. I forget what a ship is. Do we have room? Ah, we really don't. So, well, what do we have room for? We have room for cast iron. I guess we do have room for steel, so we can we can do this one. That's fine. We'll be able to do one more, I think, and then we will be full up on inventory, just like totally. Ah, oh, yeah, this one's going to be too much, I think. But that's fine. We'll do it anyway. 
I don't think we'll have room for the steel, but we might have room for the cast iron. Get some iron on. And then we're basically done. We have basically picked this ship pretty clean. I mean, obviously, there are still a couple of barrels here, and we can try to get some more oil, I guess. I don't even know if we have space for it, so whatever. I mean, honestly, I'm okay with this. I think we've done good work here, so let's go ahead and call it good. Just going to jump over the ship, and let's head back to the marketplace, where we are going to make some money. Okay, I've tried reading around a little bit, and I'm still a little confused about how I'm supposed to get to the unalloyed steel. So I want to go poke around a little more. Maybe I just didn't run around and I missed some stuff. So uh, either way, off to a good start. I think if I can clear up that one little thing, I would feel a lot better about things. So right now I'm going to call this one good. I'll catch you next one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.